Hello, dear. It's welcome back to the Weapons. I'm Sefi, and we're going to be talking about Tower of Fantasy and how they're killing the game on PS4 and PS5 before the release date. So, before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to help me grow the channel. And you can also join our Discord community full of degenerates like you with the link also on the description. That said, let's get into the video. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the World of Fantasy, it's a gacha game uh, really similar to Genshin Impact. In fact, even they themselves were comparing to the game, like to Genshin Impact, and saying how much better they were going to be, which of course turned out to be bullshit, because the only thing they did was steal assets, continuously fuck over the player base, and not listen to them. And when cells are going down, and when the community and the players are leaving constantly, what do they do? They are like, okay, let's make a PS4 and PS5 version to get new players in. Up to that point, you might be thinking, all right, that's good. So what's the problem, right? This version releases in two months. Tower of Fantasy right now is around two years old, if I remember correctly, on the global version. And then one year or two more for the Chinese version. So in total, three to four years old. Tower of Fantasy PlayStation version will not have crossplay, not cross progression. So you cannot play with your own account that you've been playing for two years on your phone. If you want to play on your PlayStation, you have to start over not only you have to start over again and repeat absolutely everything they are not planning on adding crossplay or cross progression we will compare this later with genshin now let's talk a little bit about this because you can also pre-order the game a free to play game and not only for 10 bucks like you are seeing here this is the cheap package but there are two more of course because how could they only give you one option to buy things let's go here let's check the standard let's check the looks let's check ultimate and what uh, these versions include which by the way most of the stuff you are getting by paying 50 and 100 dollars you could have gotten those for free if you played on release on the pc and mobile versions not the cosmetics but all the pools and all the materials you can get those for free well not anymore so let's check what you can get for 10 50 and 100 dollars starting of course with the standard edition you pay 10 bucks you don't get 48 hours of early access you get a multi gold nucleus one more multi with the black nucleus those are different currencies for banners to pull on the gacha and then tanium which is the, the premium currency i don't know how many singles this is it's been a long time since i played you also get the monthly pass and some materials and food <laughs> some fried chicken <laughs> other than that for 10 bucks you get nothing if this was the only thing they were selling i honestly would not be mad and i would not care at all let's move into the 50 dollar offer for 50 bucks they are using promo materials with the character T-Posing. they are using a character fucking T-Posing, but they expect that you pay a hundred dollars if you pay a hundred dollars for a company that's using materials with fucking t post characters and you get a scam because a year afterwards this game will close you are a fool don't pay 50 or 100 dollars for this game it's a free-to-play game it has more than three years to catch up in content and the only thing they want is money from you you want to get the 10 dollar ones i will not get mad if you buy it but if you pay 50 bucks you are asking for it. What did you get other than that? A Simulacrum Deluxe Box. We got that for free on global version. Nice. 2,000 of the premium currency. Once again, I don't remember how much is that. You don't get more pools because as you can see here, it says Black Nucleus 10 times, but you only get 10 Gold Nucleus. So you are getting the same amount of pools either if you're buying the $10 one or the $50 one. Now you may be thinking, all right, then what happens if I buy the $100 offer? How many pools I'm getting? You are getting 10, 10, and then the Black Nucleus, another 10. The Gold Nucleus and the Black Nucleus, you will be able to farm them a lot in game. The only scarce resource they are giving you here is the Red Nucleus 10 times. Also the Simulacrum Premium Box on PC, Oh, after a couple of months, if I remember correctly, and if I'm mistaken here, please do let me know in the comments, but you could buy that on the PC version and the mobile version for five or 10 bucks. And you are paying a hundred dollars in here. You are also getting some cosmetics and a car like before, and some cosmetics for your profile, like an icon, an avatar frame and all that stuff. You are not even getting this box plus this one here, the premium one and the deluxe one. They are different boxes. So if you pay $100, you get one. If you pay 50 bucks, you get one. It doesn't matter. In my opinion, it seems they are desperate for money. And this is like a last effort at milking their audience before in a year or two, the inevitable happens and they close down. Let's not forget that you are paying $100 for 48 hours of early access on a free-to-play game. Free-to-play on a gacha. And you're paying 100 bucks. 
I don't know what game was the first one that started the trend of the 48 hours of early access. It's one of the worst things gaming has seen after microtransactions. That said, let's compare this to Genshin because they also have a PS5 version, right? Now, Mihoyo, when they released the PS5 version, or the PS4, I think it was, you didn't have crossplay, but after a little bit, they added it. And also, the only thing you could buy was for 10 bucks this offer, which was quite bad, but you got an exclusive character, an exclusive skin for your glider, and something else that I don't remember right now. So you got actual things for free, exclusive things for your platform, and then you also got the crossplay and the cross progression. What are you getting with Tower of Fantasy? A new account you will not be able to play with your friends unless they have a PS5, and you are paying 50 to 100 bucks for a free to play game. So if you go to Steam right now, the reviews are mixed, which I'm surprised, and then overall, the general reviews are mostly positive with 7,000 reviews. If you go to the official subreddit, the game is, let, let's say, a little bit on fire because they are going from one drama to the other, trying to fuck over their player base from one time to the next one. I honestly don't understand how they keep running this game this way because they were actually going on a better direction. They were changing a lot of stuff in the game. They added recently an underwater zone that was quite cool, more characters. It's a gacha at the end of the day, right? We all know what you're getting into if you play a gacha game, but they were doing good things, cool stuff. And now they come out once again with more bullshit. It is what it is. Companies only care about one thing, that's money. And we as a player players can decide if we want to support that or you want to quit and play something else too. Let me know if you play Tower of Fantasy or even if you don't play what you think about this type of treatment and if you think in 2023 it's really difficult adding cross play and cross save to your game you can right now download this on your phone play connect to your pc and keep playing so you tell me if it's hard doing the same for the ps5 all that said that's going to be it for this video thank you to all my patrons for making this content possible like always if you want to join them you can with the links in the description down below good luck with your pools the units i'll see you in the next one ブラントのワールの